Well, Michael, can you, uh, why don't you give me your impression of what's happened to the word ecotourism and how, it's re how it relates to Costa Rica? And if you could give me that answer in maybe two sentences. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm joking. No, I can give it to him in one sentence. Bullshit. Uh, okay. That's, can that's I, a good answer. Can I, do you want the politically correct version? No, that's I'd like you to version. tell me your thoughts about it. Let me, let me go way back. Uh, it, ecotourism became sort of a movement in the later 80s, early 90s. And it was driven by academics who uh, forced it. One of the things that happened, one of the things that happened was that um, with all the education in the, in the 60s and the 70s, there was a PhD glut. So there were all these PhDs that, that weren't getting work. Uh, and a lot of it had to do with the Vietnam War. I mean, everybody just stretched out their education to not, uh, to not have to be drafted and be in the war. You could get deferments if you were in graduate school. So there were all these PhDs that didn't have anything to do. So a lot of them decided to become ecotourism experts. Or, uh, and they started, to run all, they started to run all these conferences. And it culminated. And everyone was uh, the first ecotourism This was conference. in the 80s? Late 80s, early 90s. Okay. I'm not good on the, on, sure. on the years. but. I would think in the early 90s, the, the, the big one that got all the, and, so, and then also the media picked up on it. Mm -hmm. And the big one and was in the Fontainebleau in Miami Beach. It was Echo Deco. And uh, yeah, yeah, one of the whole things about, the, the ironic things about ecotourism is for a long time, the venues were absolutely uh, in contrast to what was supposed to be the, uh, the activity. But that conference put ecotourism on the map. And it also, in terms of hours and hours to come up with a definition of ecotourism. And they so the, finally- The term started way back there at that, yeah. you know, basically. I mean, there are people beforehand that, that claim it from what, way back. There's a, fellow, a Mexican guy uh, named uh, Hector Ceballos uh, Luzgarain who claims that he was the first guy to coin it. Another guy is probably not alive anymore who had a little nature company in Berkeley, a guy named Nicholas something or other, uh, actually uh, can show a pamphlet from 1965, uh, some sort of trip he was doing where he, right. where he did the coinage. But in, in, at yeah. this Echo Deco conference at the, uh, at the Fontainebleau is when it really got defined as a movement. The uh, International Ecotourism Society, people decided to form a, make it into a society. And you started to have vested interests in this concept of ecotourism. And you got a definition that, and the definition was uh, tourism to natural places that um, supports conservation and the well being of local peoples. That mm -hmm. was. Uh, that was the definition that uh, that they came out with. Sounds nice. Yeah, it does. It sounds nice, and that led to a whole bunch of things. It led to a whole bunch of more ecotourism conferences. It led to uh, lots and lots of uh, academics doing uh, research on ecotourism and coming around and trying to figure out, you know, uh, measure things like uh, foot-induced insect deaths per bed night. <laughs> you know, really important <laughs> concepts uh, like that. It fostered a great deal of uh, ecotourism certification. So now, we, now that we had these ways to measure, we would certify these places and, uh, and give them you know, uh, so, many, uh, so many leaves or so many whatever, whatever symbol they thought would mm -hmm. work well for, uh, well for the ecotourism. And it fostered a great deal of greenwashing. So, uh, what's greenwashing? Greenwashing is basically saying that you are working in what's now called sustainable wasn't available to us then. That wasn't an available the good thing that we could do. 
it was a real word, but it, it didn't get applied to, at least in my knowledge, it didn't get applied back then. That, that, that had, sustainable tourism is a different concept sure. that, that happened later. It's the, sort of the, the, the son of eco, of, of eco tourism. Mm -hmm. We can talk about how, how they, that happened and, and how, they, how they differ.